Hello, this is Nellie, and I'm in as one of the participants of Moodle for Teachers, EVO for 2017. I could have taken an alias uh, account, but I decided to take a real person so that you see that this is truly what's happening in the teacher practice area. So first thing I want to do is go to the top right here and turn editing on. Wait a few seconds and I'm in. Next, notice what I have. I've got features on the left, center, and right. As an editor, everything opens up for me. Well, at least as a teacher. So notice what I can do here. A lot. Which means that I'm going to go into my area. And if I want to know where I am, I'll just need to remember it for now. So the topics is where I will see my name and only one name. Notice there are a few people here which is confusing so I would move myself and pick up another topic area so I can work there. Once you get your topic area and notice I'm looking for there we are topic number five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into add a new discussion at a new activity and resource and going to scroll down until I get to the letter L because I want to add a lesson. You can add content to all of these. You should actually do all of these but since there's so many we let you pick and choose but for your benefit you should try them all. Right so I went through all of them and here is lesson. I'm going to click on lesson read about it. Enables the teacher to deliver content, practice activities in interesting, flexible ways. The teacher can use the lesson to create a linear set of content and so on. Uh, multiple choice, lots of wonderful things. The lesson can be graded with a grade recorded in the gradebook, of course. Lessons may be used for self-directed learning of a new topic, for scenarios or simulations, decision-making exercise for differentiate. So here we are. I'm going to click on Add. I want to choose this. But I want to add content. Of course you want to add content because that's what this is about. It's about adding content. The question is, how? And this is how you add the name. So I'm going to call this testing ground. All right. Description I'm not going to add because it's not required. And then I'm going to go to appear and see what's here. Progress bar. Yes, of course. Display. If I'm not sure what it is, I go to the question mark and it says, if enabled, the bar is displayed at the bottom of the lesson page. is showing approximate percentage of completion. Right. Display menu. Let's see what that is. If enabled, the menu allowing users to navigate through the list of pages. Sounds good. Why not? So let's turn it on. Notice show more. Let's open it up and see what's here. Now look what I can do here. I can add a linked media. I've got the progress. Uh, display ongoing score. What is that? Let's try it. Okay, so you're able to minimum grade to display in menu zero, and you can learn more about that as well. So read and decide. Slideshow. Why not? Maximum number of answers. Okay, you can decide otherwise. Notice what it says here. It can be set to two if only false. Okay, true and false. Use default feedback. Let's see what default means. Uh, the default response, that's the correct answer, that's the wrong answer. Yep, this is a lot of work, folks, but it's well worth your while. Link to next activity, you can decide that, explains what it is, and then you have next activity. So you need to add an activity to have a next activity, obviously. Right, so keep that in mind. You'll first need to create it before you can actually choose one of these. Okay, so in my case, I am going to choose support. Okay, so there is support. I'm looking for something else, but I think that's um, that's fine. All right, support. Next, availability. You can have the dates here, but I'm not going to have that. Flow control. Allow students to review. Well, this is up to you, but you need to have students to be able to do that. Provide an option to try a question again. I always like that. Uh, maximum number of attempts, whoa, one. Okay, show more. Let's see what's more. Action, after correct answer, normal follow, lesson plan, show an unseen page, show an unanswered page. Okay, it's up to you. And then number of pages to show, that's also up to you. Grade, you can decide on the grade point 
or you can decide on a scale and then you've got the options here pass or fail excellent and uh, okay so I I think uh, pass or fail in this case uncategorized great to pass we don't need that practice lesson what does that mean let's see a practice lesson does not appear in the grade book all right we don't need it so yes practice retakes allowed Let's see if enable student can attempt the lesson more than once. All right, okay, I like that. Show more. Let's see what's here. Handling retakes. Use mean, the average. Maximum. I like maximum. Minimum number of questions. Minimum? Well, yeah, zero makes sense, but let's go to the question mark. This setting says the minimum number of questions that will be used to activate, calculate a grade for the activity. Common module settings, this you know already, visible, yes, no groups, unless you've got a set of groups. Restrict, no activity completions. How can they complete it? As completed, when? Conditions, uh, they must view it, they must receive a grade. They student must reach the end of the lesson page to complete that, definitely. Students must do this activity at least four. Okay, this is a number if you've got a timed quiz. And then save and return to course. So we're all ready with a setup. Next, we're going to add content. Now, this, of course, will take time, but I think it's, as I said before, it's well worth your while. So go into my activity and start working on it. This is how you do for most of these activities that require more than one step. You go into the activity itself to uh, implement and add the content. So here you can go into the various parts and do it yourself. So looking forward to seeing your lesson activity.